All right, I got these treated two by 12s. And I'm gonna see, we're gonna go ahead and put the cutter on it for proof of concept, just to make sure this is gonna work. All right, cutter is on the board. Let's see, we can test this out. It was popping out of socket before, so I'm gonna put the blade in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that is not working. All right, we're gonna see if it's as simple as these wheels not being on this floor causing the issue. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Um, we are closed today at Mr. Postman Print Shop, but I'm here working on our trimming table. You guys have heard the situation before, you've seen in past episodes, but if not, let me catch you up. The situation was I had bought this 10 foot long keen cut cutter and it was not cutting correctly. The cutter was not able to stay in the groove and it turns out the reason was because this table was so uneven. The table came with the shop and it was made from locally honed lumber. And so it just was not very perfectly even with each other. So it's kind of all over the place. But I think what we've discovered was the real issue is that the table is actually sagging. Um, we put this little trim piece right here to kind of raise up the middle of the cutter and the cutter works really good. So the problem is the table itself is sagging. All right, get a few of these uh, MDF boards. We went to Lowe's yesterday and we bought some supplies because basically what we're doing is we're getting rid of the old uh, locally honed um, lumber and we're gonna replace it with stronger, flatter pieces of treated lumber. And then we're also gonna use some MDF. So here's what we bought. This might be more than we need, but some of those are the boards that we've taken off. And these are two by 12s by 12 foot long. And I bought five of those. I also purchased some nice, super flat MDF boards for the other part of the table. Now what's kind of cool is we're gonna have the keen cut sat directly onto the two by 12s and we'll have two by 12s going this way, but then the MDF board is gonna go on this side, which is gonna help raise up to the same level as the keen cut, which is gonna make it even easier for us to use this trim table. It's kind of cool. Um, now the way this table was constructed it was impossible just to unscrew these top boards uh, without just completely taking this table completely apart, which for the integrity of the table was just not a really good option. So what I did was I took a circular saw, I cut off the overhangs off the end of the table so that I could then take my reciprocating saw and cut the screws from underneath. So that's what we did. So why is the table sagging in the middle? Well, let me show you. This is a super long table and really the only support for the middle are these two angle brackets happening right here. And it's simply just not enough. Now the problem is if we take out all of the boards that are on the top up there, the one in the middle is actually holding up these little support brackets. So the table is actually lowering every single time we take more boards off. So that's not good. Here's what we've done. I went back to Harbor Freight where I purchased the wheels that we had on the four corners and we have put new wheels and posts right here. We're just reusing some lumber and we put some angle brackets there. We've screwed in from the top here. And so this is actually pretty darn strong. The idea is for us to make four posts in the middle for support beams. Now you can see we got a, a piece that runs along this way and a piece that runs along right here. So we sat these directly underneath it. I think what we're gonna do is we're cutting pieces to go directly underneath right here and we'll screw that in place. That way 
I can cut a board to put here and here and we'll have something to screw into on each side there. That's then going to allow us to finish taking off these top boards without losing that support. Now, if we could put in just enough support over here where the cutter is, hopefully we will negate the need to have this little shim piece underneath the cutter so that it works properly. We'll see how it goes. The trimming table is complete. We got here Labor Day about 7 a.m. and it took us until about 1 to get this thing done. We could have constructed a table from scratch in the time it took to do this, but we salvaged the table. It took a little bit of engineering, but we got it figured out. Here's how we did it. All right, so we bought four more wheels to go into the center section because we knew we had this beam there and that beam there and that we were gonna try to make the beams come down all the way down to the ground because we knew we were gonna have to support the middle section somehow. All right, the most important part was making sure that the keen cut, this 10 foot long keen cut trimmer was perfectly flat. The table was sagging in the middle and that was the source of all of our problems. So the way we fixed that, was we put in these little compression posts right here coming all the way down to these wheels that we picked up at Harbor Freight today. So it looks a little bit wonky, but this table is much more sturdy now. We got compression posts to support the middle beams. Um, the tricky part was the middle supports we're kind of being supported by the top. So by replacing the top planks, we were actually making the table less stable. So it just took a little bit of figuring out how to do this, but it's nice and flat now. This table is 52 inches wide and 12 feet long, so it's absolutely perfect. It wheels around incredibly easy, even though it's quite a heavy table. The neat thing with this is we still have our table over here, which we have an EDDM campaign that we're gonna have to get to next week. And in between, we have our laminator. So if we're gonna laminate graphics directly on the boards, we can run it through the laminator and there's enough room for it to run along here on the trimming table. You can see that there's a little bit, it's almost flat with the trimmer, but not quite. And that's okay because I am going to be adding a piece of acrylic eight by four. I'm buying two of those from my sign supplier to put down and that's gonna get me back up to the height that we need right there. It's probably not that necessary because in all reality, I don't really need a cutting mat on this table because the keen cut basically serves as a cutting mat. There's really, ever since we've gotten this thing, we haven't had a need to cut on surface, but I'm sure after saying that, we're gonna run across that situation. But it feels fantastic to have this table situation completely figured out. On to the next project.